Hello everyone, this is Terry and welcome to TD More Org and Just Work It. Since you already are watching, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button and the like. Give it a thumbs up. But anyway, this is a bucket list plant, a new acquisition, as you can tell by the paper that's still on it. This is a replacement, very expensive. Ariopsis by Logo. I am completely obsessed with this plant. Not just the plant, just with the genus specifically. There are actually a couple of species, or maybe there's more. But Ariopsis by Logo, Ariopsis spectra. Skeptra? I think it's spectra. are true bucket list plants. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Ariopsis. See that? Ariopsis, species of epiphytic and lithophytic slash terrestrial orchids, first described by John Lindley in 1847. The epiphytic species have clustered pear-shaped dark green to almost black pseudobulbs, two, uh, two to three large leaves that applicate heavily veined. Terrestrial species have smaller bulbs, leathery leaves that develop stronger pigmentation and fluorescence to rise from the base. Usually many flowers, the flowers are up to Two to nine, two to three centimeters, variations of color. Ariopsis is a combination of two Greek words, orange, two Greek words, opsis, which means appearance, and area, which is a group of orchids that Ariopsis resembles. There's the biloba. the inflorescence and the culture medium side of warm medium to shade basically for all of the species I would say medium to high humidity good air movement uh, the, it should not be allowed to dry out um, balanced fertilizer year round Pretty much a good standard potting mix that has some aeration, but also sphagnum moss or some sort of uh, material to retain moisture. But also, as I said, there should be pebbles or there should be pieces of dry bark or uh, clay to add the air pockets necessary to keep the roots aerated and not soggy due to the a lot of water that they require okay and this is something that i found some research always do your research areopsis by loba and this is slipper top beautiful picture of the blooms you can see why i am so attracted to it and why it is in so many uh, orchid hobbyist minds as far as the beauty uh, but there also is a inherent cautious uh, just because of the reputation as being very difficult look at that but let me look at the comments because as I have said in the past experience reigns supreme whether it's your repeated efforts of trial and error or to just being a sponge, reading every book, every internet post uh, that you can find on the subject or asking around. Local Orchid Society, Facebook, 
Anyway, okay, first time blooming for me, emerging flower spike looked like a skinny mushroom, big, heavy plant that likes lots of water. So that is a really good tip. And also the pictures of the size of the blooming plant is also just as crucial and effective. So, that's, I guess, the extent of that. Okay, and this is another post on an orchid uh, chat line from the past. And it says something about uh, all of the species look much alike, genus are slow growers, difficult time to get the seedling established, slightly grown, cooler in the winter, potted in, CHC mix, whatever that is, bright, shade, and moist year round. Okay. And there is a pic nice picture. Okay, so it looks like they start to grow in autumn and new growth emerges in March and April. Give them adequate light. Not sure, well, anyhow, that is another post of research. Always important to filter out, but to retain what you feel is useful in your climate, in your environment. And this is something else that I found. But this looks like just the isops. Ipsops, J's, Orchid, Encyclopedia, you know. Such a beautiful flower. That's the story on Ariopsis, specifically Ariopsis by Nova. Bit of uh, experience, my personal experience, the research that I did. Hopefully that will give you a more educated judgment so that you can make your own decisions after all, it's your collection, your environment, your hobby. But if you ever, like I ever, get a chance to see the uh, blooms and realize that you did that, you did that, then isn't it worth it? All the work and effort? I think so. Anyhow, thanks for watching and enjoy your kids. Bye.